Hi all, a really quick video of some new gutted books that I have um, that, gosh, that I've sort of like de-stashed, if you will. Um, these are fairly large. I tried to get my camera to zoom out uh, so that you can see like, you know, even around there, but they're, they're big. Um, and my camera won't go out any farther, farther than it is, and my tripod won't raise any higher than it is. So, anyway... With that said, um, this is sort of a de-stash lot um, that I've gutted and wanted to include um, uh, on my in my Etsy shop. Wanted to list in my Etsy shop, and so this is what I've got. These are large. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't go through all of the sizes of them. You can kind of see. Um, here I'll put the size it usually will list the, the largest to the smallest if you're curious about a specific size just ask me but they're all vintage um, some of them like this one and this one are super old um, and, and and really fragile okay so this is what I've got and this is going to be my set one that I'll list I've got a few others um, I've shown another one like similar to this one in my Etsy shop I'm sorry on one of my videos um, so you've got that one. This one measures, let's see here, oh, about seven, seven by ten, so it's fairly large. It's gutted. Um, everything is still intact, no slits or cuts on the side. This one is so beautiful. It's really, really nice and, um, let me close this window. Maybe that helps a little bit. It's nice and, um, yeah, it just has a lot of wear. But it's still intact. Um, look at that inside there. It might take some work um, with the spine. And, and I'll link a video. I'll link two videos to this one. One will be, I think, Nicole B., who just recently listed some gutted books. And hers are beautiful, too. Um, and then I'll link... I don't know if Deb at, at um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden shows how to repair a spine. I think she does. I know she talks a lot about that, um, how to make the spine a lot stronger. This one's pretty good. It really is. This one measures, I guess I should do the measurement, go ahead and do all the measurements. This one is 8 by 11. All right, and I've got the window open, so you'll hear birds chirping. You may even hear some... Spanish speaking guys riding horses down the street, um, dogs barking, stuff like that. <laughs> uh, let's see, this one measures 7 and a quarter by uh, 10 and a quarter. Wait, I'm sorry, guys, hang on, let me do that again. 10 and a quarter, actually. 7 and uh, seven and a half, sorry about that, by ten and a quarter. And that one is green. It's got a little bit of some of the spine peeling, but I, I don't know. I guess bookmakers usually take that out. I'm not sure. Um, but it doesn't have any um, slits or anything in the spine. It's in the spine, and that's old. That's a pretty green. It's got like a pretty little leaf. This might be cute for a gardening book of sorts. So... Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get the lighting in here right. I'm doing this at sort of the latter part of the, early part of the evening. Okay. Um, this one is an old consensus book. Um, it still has the library catalog um, sticker on there from the 60s. It's really nice and clean. Um, everything is intact there. This one measures 8.5 by approximately ten and a half this one is my favorite um, it's fragile this part is really fragile but look at the cover um, there isn't that gorgeous um, it's got some feels like embossing I guess that is embossing um, on there and, and my camera is not doing very good justice in showing you what it looks like but it's just beautiful all right, and then on the inside, this one is from, I think this one is from the 19, um, early 1900s. And then I don't want to move things around too much, but it's got um, 
you know, lots of fragility there. The paper, you pick it up and it just pretty much breaks away. But the spine is beautifully intact. Okay, this is still stuck to the spine. There's no slits or cuts. But again, the spine might need rebuilding. And I left some of the um, first sheets in there too. So there's that one. It's an old dictionary cover. Um, let's see, did I measure this one? It is seven and a half by ten and three four. All right. This one is 1940s. It's a car building builders encyclopedia. Um, it's got a lot of patina. It's roughed up. It's rustic. It's grunge. It's big. <laughs> And the spine is still intact. It's got a lot of worn and weathered um, texture there. There's the back. And uh, let's see, this one measures, oh, let's see, 8 by 12. All right, that one's pretty big. And then this one is was an old diary. Uh, just a standard diary is what it's called, 1984. Um, I usually put a lot of book pages, uh, ledger pages from this one. It's got some crayon marks. I did leave the first page in there. I left the, I'm sorry guys, I'm shaking around the covers inside. Um, this is what the ledger paper looks like. Um, left a few sheets of that in there. It does have some dates on the top. This was like a sort of a compilation of cash accounts and then diary keeping. And then there's a calendar that's 1985, so it's a very 80s. It's really big, but it's nice. Very, very nice. Um, let's see. This one measures 7.5 by 12.5, a whopping 12.5. Okay, so there you have it. So there's, again, all of these. And these are going to list in my Etsy shop if I can get pictures of them. Probably not tonight because it's get, it's evening time. It's early evening time. So I'll probably have to do um, maybe um, some photos tomorrow. We'll see. All right. But they'll be in my Etsy shop um, if not tonight, this evening, um, for sure tomorrow. So there's that set. And then I have... Okay. Sorry about that. And then I have... Um, let me see if I turn this off. Is that better? Oh, not really. <laughs> um, we'll try it like this, guys, because my lamp light is kind of bright. Gosh, it really is. I don't know if that works or not. Let's see. Uh, ah, I'll leave it on. Okay, anyway, then I have this set, um, and this is one, two, three, four, five. This is the standard that I usually list. It's about five books, all gutted. Um... And I tried to do like a variety, so they're vintage books, and then there's two Reader Digest books. So let me start with this one, all right? This one is a really pretty red book that measures, doo -doo -doo. let's see, five, six by... There's some horses galloping by. Not really galloping, just walking by. Okay, this one measures six by nine and a quarter. All right, and there's the inside of that one. It's got some texture, natural texture there. And this, of course, is where I've secured it. I try to take these away as carefully as possible. So that's a pretty red. You can't even see the title on that one anymore. So that's opportunity. Okay, this one is a Funkin' Wagnall. I had a lot of these. I think I still may have. So these are just general ones that I usually include in all of my listings, um, just to add a little bit of variety. Um, and I even put some of these pages sometimes in, in the embellishment uh, kits for junk journals. All right, so there's that one, and it's a cloth. Um, it's got some embossing there that you can't really see. <laughs> because I'm filming in a different, my other room. Um, and then this one 
is um, a Reader's Digest book. Now this one might be great for fall because, but who says everything has to be color coordinated? Okay, that was galloping if you heard that. <laughs> There's horses that go up and down the street all day long. Horses and their riders, their owners and riders. Okay, anyway, this one might be really good for fall, but again, yeah, it doesn't have to be. Things don't always have to be color coordinated. This is pretty just because, right? So I left those two sheets in the front there. Or the one sheet and then this one. So that one's pretty. And this one's a 1990, so it doesn't, it's sturdy. Very, very, very sturdy. And it doesn't even lay as flat as the old ones because it still, it you know, still wants to naturally open up. Um, this one is beautiful. This one's very old. The spine is very fragile. Um, but at the same time, it's still intact. Beautifully intact. Um, and this book was a, um, let's see, I have the pages over here somewhere. I don't know, guys, but it's old. This one, I think, was from the 19, oh, let me look and see. Shoot. Um, if I kept that part of it, I'm sure I did. I usually separate things out. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time because I have camera issues. Um, but this one is, is really nice too. And, and it is vintage. Obviously, with nice, um, worn, naturally worn age, um, wear showing. Alright, so you get that one. And then this one is another contemporary mm -hmm. reader's whoops okay sorry guys <laughs> my husband's at the grocery store um getting stuff for dinner so anyway um okay so this yeah this is a reader's digest book um and that one has a, a little embossing on it there and then um this one is again one of those ones this one lays down a little bit flatter but it still wants to pop up. I don't know if you can see that. It still wants to pop up because these are newer ones. All right. These are like 1990s. So they haven't been like, you know, they don't have a lot of age wear. But they are vintage. So that's that lot. Okay. Five of those. Let's see. The Reader Digest Books Measure five and a quarter by a lot of people like these and I, I can understand why because they're, pre they're pretty sturdy um, and then the covers of them and that's by seven and a half the covers of them you there's opportunity there right to do what you want to do with them um, but some people like the vintage ones like me I love uh, finding really cool vintage ones with the front that's sort of geared towards a, a theme this one is uh, five by seven and a half and I think I measured this one but I'll do it again just in case this one oh I did not because this one's really tiny it's four and three-fourths by seven and a half okay so there are those um, that's that lot <sighs> and then finally I have this one and again, lots of Reader Digest books. I still have several that I didn't even gut. Um, some of them, they just have, they come in so many pretty colors. And again, a lot of people like these because um, they're sturdy and they're easy, I think, to work with. The size, I think, is that junk journaling size, which is either 6x4 or 5x7, something like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. So there's another Funkin' Wagnall one. And that one is gutted nicely. This one, I love this one. I almost put this one aside to include in one of my vintage um, embellishment kits for junk journal, junk journals. But I, I have a good collection, a good stash. So I just decided to put this one out for um, part of the lot, this lot. So there's that. And again, this size measures... Um, like five and a quarter, something like that, by seven and a half. All right. So those are prop those are the same. This one is old and it's pretty fragile. There's some good texture there. There's patina. There's old tape marks there. So that one's really nice. 
there's the back side of it. You can see where the dust jacket was probably uh, placed on there with some of that mylar um, covering, protectant. Uh, and so this one is really nice. This one measures five by seven and a half. And I think this is perfect junk journal size. The uh, spine in this one is pretty good. It's, it's fragile because it's vintage, it's aged, it's old, but I think it's pretty pretty good to work with. Um, and that's that lot. And then you've got these two, and these two are in really good shape too. 1990s. Um, and I think I got these pulled away all successfully. Yeah, these are all good. So there's that lot. Um, and I think that's it, guys, for now. Yeah, that's going to do it. This one, as an example, came away, um, didn't come away so well. It came away fine, but the spine cracked. You can see this one was an older Reader Digest book, and I thought it was so pretty, maybe for fall season or something like that. But I'll probably just um, hang on to it for a little while and maybe separate the covers at some time. I know people like to use these covers as, for their artwork to paint on or draw on or something like that. But that was one of the ones I was like, darn it. But it was it's pretty um, old and it's brittle. So that's why that one cracked. Uh, let's see. I've got... I think that's pretty much it for now. I have some more, but I'll have to save those for later. Okay. Um, I think that's it, guys, for now. Yeah. Okay. I hope everybody is having a fantastic Thursday. Um, and I hope to get listed fairly soon. Um, I may sneak in like a, another one more spring slash Mother's Day slash sister's birthday kind of thing. I don't know, just feminine flowers, florals, um, journaling kit. And then for sure, I want to do two male kits. Um, and I'm working on, on curating those, um, like, like today I've been working on them today. This is why my husband is at the grocery store grocery shopping because it's his turn to make dinner. <laughs> and yes, we take turns <laughs> making dinner So, because I'm busy. So anyway, okay, bye everybody. I hope you're having a great day um, and we'll be here again. Um, okay, adios.